Yo, what's up, homies? This is how to be epic. You thought this was a production tutorial? F that. You gotta work on yourself, not your sound, homie. Yeah. One, two, three, pick it up now. Yeah, what's up, boo? Oh. Oh, with the T. A dick. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. Yeah. Welcome, motherfuckers. I'm Moonboy, and tonight I'm going to show y'all how to be eptic. Not epic. With a T. <laughs> all right, first, let me move this down over here because I know you guys don't want to see this all day. Whoops, I'm moving stuff over here. Uh, all right, y'all, before anything, we need to do the classic uh, dubstep BPM. Crank that shit up to 145 zizzle. All right, so we're just gonna start with a kick. Let me bring this mic closer because it's annoying me. Let's do this one. Now we need a snare. Uh, we can even just grab, do the classic synatics. Let's do this. Shout out, synatics. Synatics? Uh, yeah. Whatever. Yeet, snare, cool. And then um, we're gonna layer some hats and symbols on that. Oh, that's a nice one, the first one. I don't want the transient. Let's just bring like, let's grab that. Put it on warp mode. Cool. All right, sweet. Sounds perfect already. Done. Not really. <laughs> actually, I want to just like actually perform it on my little launch pad. So I'm just going to put it on the keys. Okay, drums are ready. And they're in the little sample folder I think I got right here. Okay, cool. Perfect. All right, guys, time for something new. Get your head out of fucking serum because we're going straight up massive right now. Uh, Eptic uses massive for all his bases. That's why it sounds kind of different from everybody. Uh, but yeah, let's do this. We're going to start with the fat rack. So let's just grab any type of fat rack. If you guys have any, you can look literally look it up. Like if you want VR's fat rack or whatever, literally grab that. So I googled fat rack and this is what came up. So get ready to catch some gnarly fucking air, dudes. And basically what they do is just going to compress everything. Like... That is one fat f***ing saw. Mm. Makes me angry just listening to it. Mm. Alright, sick, we got it. Now I'm just gonna look up, uh, ep ep blah, blah, blah. this live set was le legit probably one of the most epic live sets I've ever seen, to be honest. This kind of made me a fan of him. Is this the actual moon boy? <laughs> Shout out to you guys that found me on Steam. <laughs> look at this pretty boy with this nose ring. I'm eating the audio because I don't want to get copyright blocked. One, two, three, pick it up now. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I got that vocal sample too. Um, it's freaking Fat Man Scoop. All right, I know that vocal. That vocal is from a folder of like the best Fat Man Scoop vocal samples. Um, you can get it, like, just Google it to be honest. Do y'all fuck them till they come? Do y'all fuck all y'all bitch ass niggas move the fuck out the way? If you got a big dick, grab a bitch, stand up. If you got a big dick, grab a bitch, stand up. If you want sex, stand up. If your pussy is wet, you want sex, stand up. Take your ass, watch shake the ass. Fuck, pot, start fucking, start fucking, start fucking. Pop from the top, let's. If you got a fat ass, get your hands up. If you got a fat ass, get your hands up. If you got a fat ass, if you fucking the night, if you fucking the night, if you fucking who fucking the night, who fucking the night, who fucking the night, fuck them all day, fuck them all night. One, two, three, pick it up. Now. There it is. Two, three, pick, pick it, it up now. now. Man, some of those vocal samples were pretty funny. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna have to dub the audio because I don't want to get copyright blocked. So this is how it sounds. One, two, three, pick it up now. Lit. Let's do that. All right, now that we got the vocal. One, two, three, pick it up now. Let's do the melody. So it's like. Okay. All righty. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be. Um, I think the first hit is like F. And then it's going to be like. And then let's, let's duplicate this part right here one more time, one more time. And then the second part is gonna be like. Okay, cool. All right, so what Eptic likes to do, especially for his lead sense, but not just uh, Eptic, but like Dr. P and Flux Pavilion, uh, they they like having having these like really gritty ass lead ringy synth leads basses, whatever you want to call it, and they're just called like format basses, I guess. 
um because when you put a format it starts sounding like you know so we can start with uh some classic tube or something uh start with just a bunch of um distortion first like the more distortion the better to be honest because basically we got to bring up the ringiness of the lead like that Sounding similar, more similar, sounding pretty cool. You can put like a dimension expander to make it more wide, just a little bit. Oh, uh, sorry, that was a phase. <laughs> Sound like a fart. <laughs> okay, and then we can use the phase now. But with the phase, we're gonna bring it down like just a tiny bit, just a tiny, little, tiny little bit. <laughs> sounding pretty gritty now. To start off a little uh, band reject to give it some um, basically filters would basically just change the sound to something more unique and more weird and more cool in a sense. Um, so we can just start with that. Let's put this up a bit. It's basically creating different like peaks and different like ducks. So let's grab another filter. Let's try uh, like the double notch so we can have more thing going on. See the all craziness you can make with it? Just by changing this, you get so many different results. Now the trick is kind of like searching for that sweet spot. I love that grittiness so freaking much, dude. Uh, we can even like start changing the wavetable to get uh, different results. Let's see. Some of these wavetables by Massive are really sick. And uh, you can actually import them to a serum. You can find a download link online a bit. That's pretty cool too. Oof, it's sounding really gritty now. Um, we can start uh, doing a little more processing with besides the fat rack. Um, let's start with like an OTT and an EQ. Um, what I want to do is, so I'm going to do... Um, two eqs one is gonna be pushing the fuck out of the sub bass the low end so it actually creates a grittiness before that to even show you what it really does i would need a saturator uh, right here so when you bring this up it starts morphing the sound in kind of a good way like kind of imitating clipping without it actually clipping i dig it a lot And then I'm gonna make my own uh, sub just with operator, like super quick. Like it's not even nothing like crazy. Literally, it's just a sign, and then I just draw in a little bit of harmonics like that. And obviously, you gotta bring down the pitch. Oof, oof. So what I'm gonna actually do is uh, with formats, uh, it sounds better. I think, in my opinion, if you put it down to 48, or even just like just like really low to get like a ringy sound, and then uh, bring up. The pitch right here, so let's try that. I'm pretty sure that'll give us more of a scream that we want. That's better. I'm actually happy to like leave this right now, and then we can work on the first womps. The womp. Alrighty, it's time for the womps. Oh my gosh, what the hell is up with my hair? Ah, it look, I look like fucking Abraham Lincoln. It's like a bird. <laughs> So it's just gonna be uh, one note each. Probably gonna like resample it for um, the da 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 da, if that makes sense. Obviously, starting out with the fat rack. So let's try a uh, square and then maybe like a low pass. Um. Whoa, whoa! I dig that. Whoa. Okay, so I'm gonna draw draw this right here. Go. Whoa. Okay, and then we can use uh, like some classic tubes or something uh, to bring up everything Cool, okay, we can go a little crazy for the womp like throw a phaser A little bit. Oh bring the mix down right here Let's have it go backwards a bit. So I guess like up Oh no down we're gonna have like a freaking phase or something Okay, that's cool. So we can go even more in depth by putting an EQ on this and then automating it to go. So, blah, blah, so we can shape it even more. Automate the frequency range of that. 
far enough frequency range the band or whatever the and then uh let's have a reverb tail out uh, but not like that that's kind of intense <laughs> and then uh bring up some highs too that's a bit too much right there bring it lower i'm changing the reverb a bit then maybe we can even automate the reverb to just like eliminate towards the end okay that's some cool fine right there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna uh resample it freeze it and then resample it so i can uh make i want the initial transient to be faster and uh rather than doing it through uh the actual automation i like to just do it the waveforms so uh i can actually leave this be and then bring this back right here put texture mode maybe Okay, that's cool. Actually, that's, I actually dig that a lot. Uh, what we can do is also, um, I'm gonna group this and call these like bases. And then I'm gonna do a simple sidechain. And for those of you looking for plugins for a sidechain, uh, don't, um, I'm tired of plugins to be honest for sidechaining. Uh, at least for now, because when I sometimes when I introduce new plugins, like I think like Isotope Neutron or even um, Shaperbox, actually I haven't tried Shaperbox, but Volume Shaper, uh, it creates like, uh, latency or whatever and then sometimes you have to adjust it and I don't like it and it's pretty cool because you can get in really deep and like you could even compare like a kick and if you have a kick right here you can compare the waveform and then you can just adjust it for where you want it to come in I kind of like that okay here comes a cool part sort of specific towards the epic style he uh, likes to do like little chops with his bass like -a -bop -bop. okay so I consolidated it and then now I'm gonna sort of like um half time it and then even cut it like half halfway Sort of to have only the transient. Oh my god, excuse me. Uh, I accidentally closed it and then I forgot to save. And then uh, it just eliminated this, the sample that I was working with. So I just made it another one right now. So it sounds a bit different, but same concept, same everything. Okay, that's cool for that variation. The end of the bar variation. Now the last part. Uh, so it's going to be like... Let's actually uh, consolidate this real quick, reverse it, and then extendo clip it. Extendo. I'll make it rise like this. That's pretty sick. We could even have the sub follow uh, that bass right now. So just duck up, duck duck. And of course, to make everything sound better, you just control all and then make everything green because <laughs> it's an alien invasion yo alien invasion starting now i have my website now up moonboymusic.com you can find all my show dates maybe even tour dates very soon i'm going pretty much all over la and then a few other states as of right now i have 31st halloween and then Las Vegas, and then back at Local Fest in LA. I think I have, actually, no, I think I have three shows in November. No, four. Uh, they need to get updated here, too. But I think the next one will be Salt Lake City, Utah, but I, don't, I can't really officially announce what event or what day yet, but keep out an eye for that in my website right here. Um, I'll put the link in the description below, and you can even get yourself some fly-ass Moonboy t-shirts. Check it out. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah! Those of you who get the merch, I'm shouting you guys out in the next video. Uh, shout out uh, Kochi, 13, uh, C. Chadwell, and Junius, Ari, who's unknown. Yo, it's fucking Moonboy's merch, bro. Yo, I gotta say thank to the boy himself. It's fucking amazing. And some person that I saw in somebody's story that was wearing it at a show. That's pretty tight. Thank you so much for repping it. And uh, Electro Morales. Shout out to you guys so far. Uh, send me a picture and I'll shout you guys out on the next video. Okay, so this is what we got. One, two, three, pick it up now. Yeah. Okay, so I actually made this into a rack where you guys can customize it and you guys can just drag and drop. So if you want like a, a melodic format bass to use, basically you just use this tone to switch the tone. So it's like, to, and then the other one is like higher. 
So that's pretty cool. And then I'm gonna put that in my Discord. If you guys haven't joined my Discord, by the way, it's gonna be in the description below. And, uh, I'll put it into racks and effects right here. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you want that freaking subscribe button, dude. You don't wanna miss these next videos. I do so many. Leave a like if you enjoyed it as well. That really helps this video out. It really helps get seen by other people. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Uh, this was freaking awesome. <laughs> I might actually do something different. I might actually take you guys on a little vloggy. To the studio right now. I think it's called Symmetry, L.A. Symmetry. Symmetry. Like Symmetrical. Like Symmetrical. Like S Y. Like the song. Bro, the new Skrillex and Joyride is dropping October, bro. The 13th, bro. Oh man. All right, so this is the entrance. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Look, we got a little area over there. Got a kitchen, man. I need a kitchen in my studio. Bro, oh my goodness! We Whoa! Nothing, we have <gasps> nothing on this. Yo, man, I'm jealous, man. <laughs> Yo, imagine, this is le legit vibes right here, dude. Imagine working here every day. Oh man! <laughs> Damn it, dude! I gotta no, up my what studio. Did I tell you too? Oh man, I gotta get my walls gray too. No way! These are padding. These are. This is the <laughs> second studio. This one's more cool, like cooler as in like, oh, what's your name, bro? Nick. Nick, you can follow him at? The Knox. The Knox, there you go. <laughs> the it's cold as fucking here. Dude, oh, they have these lights. PewDiePie has these lights. Uh, I forgot what they're called though. Um, Nano Leafs. Yeah, there you go. They're and leaves. they're like DMX and or not DMX, but like fully customizable. The infamous pocket suit. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Okay, so this is a pattern. Also, oh, this is playing like a sequencer? Yeah, and I think there's like a shift or something on that. Hello. Alien noises. <laughs> what happened right there? <laughs> All right, we hooked up the pocket synths, two actually able synths, so we get those alien noises. <laughs> Are making alien as bases. So far, so far, this first one is super sick right here. That right there. Ah, all that's the saturator and OCT. Then we got. Oh, you can't do a unison. Taking a break to take some ramen to get some ramen now serving ramen. We got the guest list to Tatsu Ramen. Do I get a wristband? Where's the, <laughs> is there a backstage? <laughs> the most Instagram ramen place in LA, probably. Yeet. This is the. Alright. <laughs> it did the sound effect and everything. There you go. Lit. 